for your presentation. Yeah, one second, please. Yeah, can you hear me well? Can you see my presentation? Yes. Everything works? Okay. <clears throat> so, um, dear colleagues, dear chairman, I'm glad to introduce our research. Um, it is well known that uh, ischemic heart disease is one of the leading causes of death uh, in population over 35 years old. Moreover, um, up to 50% of ischemic heart disease cases progress in chronic heart failure. When heart failure develops on the background of obstructive coronary artery disease and accompanied by severe systolic dysfunction, it is called ischemic cardiomyopathy. Despite all efforts, after surgical treatment, some patients undergo repeated left ventricle remodeling, uh, which is associated with increased risk of adverse cardiac events. Thus, this is a need to develop a new criteria for selecting people for surgical treatment of this pathology. Uh, it is uh, well known that the presence of contractile reserve uh, is a predictor of left ventricle contractile function improvement after revascularization. Thus, uh, of those left ventricle segments uh, which improved contractility during the vitamin infusion, the majority demonstrated functional recovery after revascularization. Uh, uh, here you can see uh, one of the pathogenic ways of contractile reserve decrease. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, and in simplified form, it can be presented like this. So ischemic heart disease causes the decrease uh, in the contractile uh, reserve directly by reducing the oxygen supply to the myocardium and uh, indirectly by the formation of fibrotic changes and a decrease in the number of functional cardiomyocytes as a consequence of myocardial infarction. That can lead to decrease in contractile function directly and indirectly through the occurrence of uh, dysynchrony in falsity of fibrosis. The most common methods to, um, for st studying mechanical dysynchrony is echocardiography. However, over the past decade, the role of radionuclide modalities uh, in this field increased, as you can see here. Uh, stress test can be used to unmask left ventricle dysynchrony which could be absent at rest. Present knowledge about stress-induced changes of mechanical dysynchrony remains controversial. Some echocardiographic studies uh, state that dysynchrony doesn't change during stress test. Other claims different patterns of stress-induced changes of dysynchrony. Nevertheless, uh, the prognostic value of uh, this parameter is uh, not well established. And um, moreover, the Echocardiography and SPECT are not uh, really comparable in this field. The relevance of this topic is also recognized by such uh, prominent researchers in the field of nuclear medicine, like Alessi Gimeli, uh, Will El Gerudi, and uh, Amy Iskadian. Synchronicity matters. This is how the discussion about the need of multi center study to research the stress induced changes of mechanical dysynchrony begins. Uh, well, gated blood pool spec. Uh, this is a method of um, visualizing of blood pool labeled by Tichnetsu. Method is characterized by high accuracy and reproducibility in measurement of uh, systolic, diastolic function, dysynchrony of both heart ventricles. Additionally, lung pathology artifacts uh, of uh, excessive uh, soft tissue and ribs uh, don't have a critical effect on the image quality. Method is validated uh, by phantom studies and is comparable to MRI in uh, terms of assessment of uh, systolic function and um, volumes of heart ventricles. However, uh, until recently, the acquisition time, uh, the acquisition took a long time. The introduction of uh, gamma camera with CCT detectors led to reducing acquisition time down to five minutes and made it possible to conduct it uh, in patients with uh, severe heart failure and during stress test. So unresolved problem you can see here. Uh, there is no data about stress-induced patterns of mechanical dysynchrony changes obtained with gated blood pool spec on CCT gamma camera, uh, as well as the value of stress-gated blood pool spec in prediction of uh, results of ischemic cardiomyopathy surgery is uh, still unclear. And our hypothesis uh, was that stress gated by blood pool spec has prognostic value in patients with uh, ischemic cardiomyopathy. 
<clears throat> a total of 30 patients with ischemic cardiomyopathy were enrolled in this study. Before surgical treatment, uh, all patients underwent stress gate buckle spec and uh, echocardiography. Uh, in the follow up period, patients were divided into two groups with and without sites of left ventricle remodeling. Inclusion criteria were compliance to the diagnosis of ischemic cardiomyopathy, and exclusion criteria are presented on the right. Let me not dwell on this. Stress gated blood pool spec protocol is uh, presented here. Uh, after erythrocytes labeling, uh, there were four continuous acquisitions. Uh, first, at rest, and then during increasing doses of dilutamine from 5 to 15 microgram per kilogram per minute. Uh, and the patent on this method is received. Um, determined parameters were following uh, volume parameters, uh, as well as systolic and diastolic parameters, and parameters of uh, mechanical dyssynchrony. And here are the results. Uh, the higher reproducibility of all parameters, both at rest and at stress, has been shown. The highest values of uh, correlation coefficient were shown by the synchrony indices. Here you can see uh, patient characteristic before operation. Uh, repeated uh, remodeling group consisted uh, of 19 patients, uh, reverse remodeling group of uh, 11 patients. Groups were compatible in the majority parameters except number of myocardial infarction in analysis and number of affected coronary arteries. Uh, yeah, also negative group had more interventions on mitral wall. According to gated blood pool spec, there was a significant difference in stress induced changes in systolic function uh, and mechanical dysynchrony. By the results of logistic regression, all mentioned parameters except entropy uh, were independent predictors of left ventricle remodeling. According to the ROC analysis, the higher area under curve value uh, was shown by left ventricle phase standard de duration. It reflects the mechanical dyssynchrony. And logistic regression included all these indices had the area under curve value significantly higher than uh, each of these indices alone. Also, it has been shown that uh, stress changes of um, phase standard deviation has a good negative correlation with the values of left ventricle ejection fraction after 12 months after surgery. So let me show you some uh, examples. Mm, here's the case uh, uh, of um, reverse remodeling. Mm, as you can see, in the case of uh, left ventricle ejection fraction increased and uh, desynchrony decreased uh, during stress test after 12 months, the decrease of left ventricle volumes and desynchrony and improving uh, in systolic uh, function was observed. Here is the negative example. Mm, we can observe uh, not significant uh, decrease uh, so, sorry, not, not significant increase of left ventricle ejection fraction and increase of desynchrony during stress test uh, resulted uh, in uh, decompensation after 12 months. So, in conclusion, uh, in patients after surgical ischemic cardiomyopathy correction, the value of uh, stress induced changes of um, left ventricle ejection fraction and mechanical dyssynchrony. Uh, obtained uh, with preoperative stress gated blood pool spec are associated uh, with um, the repeated left ventricle remodeling in the long term follow up period. Thank you.